Good morning, welcome to Nifty Prediction. My name is Narayan. To join my WhatsApp group, I am charging 500 rupees per month. You will get not once prediction details as well as calls in the group. If you like my video, if you want to support me, you can donate me using GP, phone pay and Paytm. Let's go to the review for the Monday market. Nifty ended up in the positive 15,115.80. 19 point sorry 191.55 points in the positive 1.28 percent in the positive open reopen around 15,664.30 low went around 15,041.05 I went around 15,159.90 let's go to my prediction review As per pre-opening, it is kind of a volatile market, but still, I specifically told, even though uh, it is showing volatile market as a chance to go bullish as well, due to if the market is opens above this volatile level. So, anything opens above this volatile level and not breaking the previous close, it might go extremely bullish. That is what I specifically pointed out. So, the stop loss which is on the overall average so the pre-opening is clearly above that level some more than 71 points around more than 15,000 so that is exactly that is what happened so all it is set up with clearly above this particular level so if the pre-opening is above that level means it is an extreme bullish market and exactly almost it is ended up 200 points positive so it is clearly opened above this volatile level and the low is also not broken the level so overall average stop loss which is 14,902 so 15,041 only it's the low let's go to the prediction uh, for the Tuesday Tuesday it is once again the volatile market the ratio on the 7 is to 8 is to 7 so it is a volatile market average 2 is to 1 once again it is showing volatile market absolute frequency is also 2 is to 1 so it is clearly showing volatile market only the thing is weight is showing negative so the volatile market may having chances to open in the positive means it will drag down towards negative in the white age so what still we know the basic rule if the market is opens in the different situation it might go bullish as well so what are the bullish and various situations i will explain you if anything opens pre-market itself opens above 41 points or around overall that particular volatile level average and above if this pre opens above that level with the stop loss of overall average it is extreme bullish market so 15107.31 if anything opens above that level and not breaking this stop loss means it is a extreme bullish market the normal bullish bullish market is because anything open 48.37 above that level, level only in that scenario normal bullish market which is anything opens in the positive one point anything opens in the positive one point and not breaking the support level one which is 15,093.7 is the stop loss for the normal bullish market yeah. and bearish market stop loss is anything opens below extreme bearish market anything opens below 41 points 
then it is attracting extreme bearish market with a stop loss of overall average which is 15127.31 this is the stop loss for extreme bearish market the normal bearish market which is anything uh, opens one point in the negative and resistant level one stop loss is not breaking so 15156.03 is not breaking then it is a normal bearish market so if the pre opening is not opening in the extreme bearish or bearish but somehow it is opens and breaking those levels means how it is going to trade so normally what happens is if the market is not able to break these three levels so including the r604 levels around 95 to 131 if the market is not able to break and high is matching exactly the same then the market will having chances to fall down from that level towards to the negative side and it might go towards to that level but exactly these levels open target and bearish so these levels if the market is once again not able to break then it has a chance to recover so this kind of a movement up and down movement we can able to expect so i will explain you how it has happened in the monday market and monday we had a target as well because the high and low is not matching exactly so i'll explain once again about monday how we got a target in both sides see the high is not matching with this so the difference of 14 points so this 15171 in target is open for the positive side as well as the low is also not matching the difference of 3 points so normally inside the 3 point it has to come or inside the 10 point stop loss it has to come so it is not matching with the stop loss either it is not matching with the 3 points of so both side is not matching so it it is it is showing the target it is showing the target for the positive side as well as negative side and still we have a one more pending target which is uh, 14000 Seven eleven on the downside. So this fifteen thousand one seventy one target it needs to be filled, and then fifteen thousand thirty seven. Then it, if it is falling for the downside, means this pending target fourteen thousand seven eleven will get fulfilled. Whether it is going to fulfill today or the next coming days, that is the question for this fourteen thousand seven eleven. Normally, it take five days to fulfill. Sometimes. If it is not fulfilled, it will it will be vanish. Uh, within the five days, it has to fulfill. That is the main rule. So normally, if that particular day is not fulfilled, then next day it it has to fulfill. But maximum five days. So we can wait uh, because this particular target is still open. Let's see how the market is going to give us. And I would like to show you. or the pre opening how it is going to open if it is opens in the positive anything above par value which is more than 15044 then it is attracting the bullish side but still high is matching means it might fall down and negative is having 500 points down side so that is also going to keep that is the reason i'm telling that 14711 still possible today if it is goes heavily because negative target 3 is almost there with the 14700 let's see how the, how the market is going to give us on tuesday thank you